Ugh. It's your boy, Munir Pittman, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. I'ma keep this shit a hundred. I'm telling real stories, yeah. I own my shit a hundred. So we got Munir Pittman off the porch with us today. What's happening? Latonia in the building, real east side, man, for real. Latonia, I got you, for real. What's going on though, bro? I'm feeling good, man. Sounds, feel, sounds like you in a good mood today, man, too, man. I'm in a man. great mood, stupendous, superb, all kind of as superlatives, whatever, man. Let's get it. Oh, <laughs> no. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I don't know who that is. It don't even matter any more important than what we got going on. There we go. Appreciate that, man. All right, so talk to us about Latonia, man. Latonia, man. I've been there all my life, man. I mean, I'm from Marble Road. Shout out the Mafia, for real. But I, I stretch everywhere, man. I got family. I got sisters, man. My sisters got baby daddies, man. So my family is real big. It's hella kids, hella moments we share, man. And woo! But I stretch real long in Latonia, man. That's my city. Everybody know it. You know what I mean? Everybody know it. I've been on social media not even three whole months. Three and months? That's it? Man, I have got on social media November 5th, 2020 to just, you know, see my kids, let folk know I'm still alive and just took off. You know what I mean? Not even three months, man. I'm here with you. You feel me? It, Oh, okay, yeah, I thought I was on the point for real. I did jump off it, but you know, I'm here though, for real. I'm here now. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, can I say my saying though? Listen, from Bruce Street, cross over the railroad track, Evan Mill, make a right on Hillendale, P Panola, what the fuck? Salem, Mama, straight up the Rita and East Side. I Gotcha! For real! That's my saying. I love that <laughs> shit. I love saying that shit. For real. I say it after every track. <laughs> All right, so at what age did you jump off the porch? Man, listen. For real, I jumped off the porch just being a legend. I was a legend before I got to college. That's real. And I'm not a legend on, you know, real street stuff like that. You know, I'm a legend off just being me. I'm a player nigga. I always had the girls. I've been fighting sports. I'm an exceptional mind. I was always smarter than everybody. I just played dumb, you know? So really, I jumped off the porch in sports at a young age, in the streets, later on in life. That's just to get money, you know, to provide for my kids. But all these stories come from me just growing up, man. I'm just a master storyteller at real shit that I've really been through, cause my life is crazy. I'm talking about crazy. I done been kidnapped, I done been shot at, I done been stabbed. Man, listen, man, major drug deals, major plays, major figures, you know, and ain't nobody ever thought of me as being a drug dealer. That's how you know I'm fired. Cause don't nobody, when they think of me, don't nobody say, oh, home sell drug. No, they say home got the girls or home can hoop or, or man, home just, he, now you like being around him. Nobody ever says anything about the streets. I'm like ghost from power, man. Folk don't even know what's going on for real, for real. I'm just now exposing. I'm 40 years old. I'm just now out here. You know, just to show you how old I am, I was in college when September 11 happened. I was in college. That's how old I am. Y'all think back what y'all were during September 11. I was in college. And I still look like I'm in college. And I'm still dunking on nigga. And hey, listen, man. If you got a 22-year-old daughter, she's still probably digging me. She think I'm her age, so you better watch her. For real. No cap, not nothing I ever said. But what good, though? Another question, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us the story of you being kidnapped? Man, I don't want to tell that story because okay. I, still, I still fuck with a couple of them people. You know what I mean? That kidnapped and, you? No, nah, that, oh. <laughs> I wasn't alone when I got kidnapped. You know what I mean? I told them folk I wasn't going to say nothing about okay. nothing they was in. But you can ask me about anything else, and I'll probably tell you something. Okay. So what college did you go to? I went to Payne College in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. I'm a legend. Why Augusta, are you a legend? Georgia. Why? Yeah. Well, first of all, just because, like I said, I was a legend leading up into college. So I was already known when them folk was in school and they was, you know, never been on their own type of thing. See, the thing about college, when you get there, all them folk that relied on their parents 
you can tell when you get to school out there on your own because they are sheep. And then the ones who excel at college, and I mean, go harder than everybody else at everything else. I mean, I was already doing that at 13, 14, what they are doing at 18, 19, or trying to do. I was already a legend. And then the fact, I always tell this story. This is a true story, what I'm gonna tell you now. Okay, for anybody who's been to college, when you go to college, you, have a, you take a test and they see where you're at. They see where you're at mentally to see if you need to take remedial classes, if they need to put you in these kind of classes, how many hours you need to give to this student. So this is real shit what I'm telling you. So my mother, first of all, I grew up in a single home. My mother had counsel, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Daphne, you know what I mean? That's my mom, I love her. But she always made me a man. So in college, when she dropped me off in college, when I walked into the office and I see everybody with their parents helping them with their paperwork and filling out their scholarships and all this, I'm in there dolo. My mom in the car, she said, you're a man, now you're going to go in there and fill out your own shit. So I'm in there filling out my own paperwork. And then I took the, the test to see, like, where you at? And um, this ain't no cap, man. I go back in the office after taking this little test that you take when you leave high school to go to college. And my administrator calls me in the office and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, uh, can you get your mom out the car? I'm like, for what? She's like, you need to get your mom out the car. I'm like, man, my mama said I got to do this paperwork on my own. She said, well, you need to get your mom out the car. So I go get my mom, take her in. The lady says, your son, I gave your son 26 hours for his first semester in college. My mom was like, 26 hours? She was like, isn't the normal like 10, 12 hours to a student? They was like, yeah, that's for normal students. Your son ain't normal. So I took 26 hours my first semester, man. That just let you know, what, and they gave that to me. I didn't sign up for that shit, you know what I mean? That just let you know where I'm at, man. I was always ahead of them folk, 10 times ahead of them folk, and I'm, I always will be, man. I'm, I'm on the cryptocurrency now. I'm in the movies. I don't know if you looked up on me, but I've been in film the last 15 years. I done did my own movie. I done set dress. You know, I'd have been the, 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 the bottom of the barrel when it come to film. I'm talking about uh, a PA, the person who runs and gets drinks and, and says, rolling. And then you got to tell motherfuckers who getting, who making $5,000 an hour to shh, be quiet because they're rolling <laughs> back there. And they looking at you like, nigga, you making $150. Nigga, no, shut up. But I did that and built my way all the way to the top, man. Like I said, man. I'm, I'm talking about, man, I sat dressed in the art department. I've been in props. I, 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 I done done grips, you know what I mean? And you in film, so you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. But uh, I, I've done it all. But I've set dressed for uh, many movies, man, that, you, that you've that you watched. And I ain't going to brag about none of them. But shit, just know, man, I done did it all. And I done met everybody. And I got stories about actors that I, that I had experiences with. I'll tell you one about Martin Lawrence. It's real shit what I'm going to tell you about Martin Lawrence. This is on Big Mama House, I think, three in his contract, you know what I mean? Cause shit, I was around in his contract. You gotta, we had to buy him $500 worth of Popeyes every day. <laughs> him and the peoples that he brought, the, the niggas he brought with him, they ate $500 worth of Popeyes every day. Swear to God. Another fun fact about Martin. He had, we had to build a retract, uh, 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 a court that you had to take up and, and you can drop on any set. So every set, we had to drop a court down so him and his homeboys can shoot in between sets. I swear to God, man. For real, this is Martin Lawrence in the contract. That's how long I've been around. You know what I mean? I got stories about everybody. You got to check them out on YouTube, though. For real, Munir Pittman to see him. Check me out. For real, all on the ground, man. Munir.atl, M-U-N-E-E-R.atl. I got stories about Tyrese. Fuck it, I'll tell you one about Tyrese, man. Listen, I'm on a set. This, this ain't even came out yet. This shit I'm giving you ain't even came out. But it's a short film he got with Rick Ross coming up, man. It'll probably be out like next month. But he got a short film coming up with Rick Ross. I'm on the set with him probably like two months ago. I'm in the art department. You know what I mean? I helped build the sets, you know what I mean? And um, this nigga Tyrese, uh, we over there working. And some nigga walks up to Tyrese, who works in the crew. I think he was like in camera. He walks up to Tyrese. He says, hey, Ty, can I get a picture, bro? That nigga Ty looked at that nigga. I don't take pictures with niggas. I'm talking about nigga. we died laughing, you know what I mean? This nigga, Ty says, uh, give me the walkie. Nigga, hand, the nigga he asked, the nigga he told he don't take pictures with, he's like, give me your walkie. 
Nigga gave him his walkie. This nigga get on the walkie. Tyrese gets on the walkie, says, uh, memo to everybody. I don't take pictures with niggas. And you got to, <laughs> swear to God, man, Holmes is a real diva. For real. No cap. And hey, and his wife find it hell too. Goddamn, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more. I'm goddamn walking, cause we shot it at his house. And everybody who followed my Instagram, the, 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 the pitch I took in front of the Transformer, that was inside of Tyrese's house, just to let you know, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm goddamn taking some inside his house. His wife is next to him. We walking up, just chit chat, talking. How about we get to the door? I'm finna walk in, Tyrese stops me at the door. He like, what you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm taking something for the set. He said, but you ain't coming in my house. I, I said, okay. He said, she can come. But you can't, and let the, man, home, man, home's a real diva, man. Home in there complaining about money and everything. Man, I can't get down with home, man, for everybody who, I'm going to just keep it real, man. Tyrese a real diva. But shit, what else, man? <laughs> in your experience, are most of these big stars divas, or are some of them down there? No, no, no. I got another story. I'm going to show you how real this is. I'm with Tyron Turner. Came from Menace to Society. We on the set. Uh, meet the blacks too. I'm on set dresser there. So I'm around them. You know what an on set is. I'm literally fluffing pillows and wiping off mirrors and shit in between, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so at the end of the night, we had worked for like 17 hours that day. End of the night, no cap, end of the night. We worked 17 hours straight. End of the night, it's cold as fuck. It's December too. We getting, out, we getting on the van like, they got vans waiting for you after you after they after they done and they call the martini and everybody done. You pack up every department packs up their stuff. You go to the vans. They got vans waiting on you. So no cap, we go into the van. Me, Tyron Turner, two makeup girls and a hairdresser. Me, I'm in the van. Tyron Turner next to me. Three hairdresser girls behind us and the driver of the van. From the set to the parking lot where our cars is at is less than a minute. And the girls know that. They shoot, they shot ASAP. Swear to God. <laughs> one, of them, one of them puts her head up. Uh, Ty, he like, what's, what's up? She like, um, me and the girls, all three of us, uh, you want to drink with us? First of all, it's like four in the morning. We had worked 17 hours. All three of them said, can one girl spoke for all of them said, can you want to get a drink? He says, I don't drink. I'm like, oh, damn. The one in the middle pops up ASAP. Uh, you want to smoke? Smoke that shit. He says, I don't smoke. I'm like, ooh, this nigga here. That nigga looked back to all three of them. I have other vices. <laughs> I said, ooh, that nigga here. That nigga Tyra Turner, man, came from Minnesota Society, man. No cap, man. Meet the Black Two set, man. Home got them. I fuck all three of them. He don't need no drugs or nothing, man. For real. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it playing, man. For real. Can't nobody tell y'all nothing like that because they wasn't there. I was. All my shit are haunted. And everybody know it. I'm a legend on the east side, man. For real, man. But what's up, man? Tell, ask me something else, Hayes, baby. I'm with you. You ain't know all this was coming. I know you didn't. What's been your favorite movie that you have worked on? Um, well, the one I shot, obviously, you know, my mother put it together, man. It's called uh, Dirty South House Arrest. You know, we had the uh, the fence, we had the uh, the grant, the opening day, you know, at um, damn, where that shit was at? What's that shit called? Atlantic Station, Atlantic okay. Station Movie Theater. I swear to God, man, you know, packed house. I didn't even get to see it. Cause it wasn't no seats left. I had to fucking stand in the lobby. Cause every seat, every stance, every place in the hallway before. Weren't you the lead actor? No, I, okay, see, my mother is the director, the writer, the producer. She, she did it all. It's her She film. couldn't save you a seat? <laughs> it was, I did that for the, for the people who, okay. you know. Cause shit, I, I, I can go watch it now, you know, but shit. Like I say, man, DC Young Fly was in there. 
And this is this is this is all off my, no no nothing you know shit we put together man my mother man for real no cap man DC Young Fly Emmanuel Hudson uh, I forgot my boy I know Nav I forgot his last name but Nav he Nav me, Green he was in there um, I can't remember old boy name but he light skin he worked for V103 I see him all the time he light skin bald hair with a beard he's funny as shit can't remember his name. But we had Latavia from Destiny Child. Man, it was Rodney Perry, you know, and my, man, we paid him out of our pockets, out of our own pockets, you know what I'm saying? This shit for real, man. Dirty South House of Red, man, coming soon, man. For real, man. Don't fall off of that money for it and everything. Is it going to be in movie theaters or is it going yeah, to? Yeah, it's going to okay. be. We waiting for it to crank back up, man, because ain't no money. Yeah. You know, we was going to stream it. You know, I ain't going to lie. Them folks offered off of my own dupes of money. Mm -hmm. But she turned it down because they wanted the rights to it. You know what I mean? Oh, and she worked too hard to just have no, to look back on it and have money, but have not your name on it. And it was like her dream. This is her everything. I was just a part of it because yeah. you know, I'm her son. And you've worked on some uh, music video sets too, right? Oh, I've worked on all movie sets. You know, I'm fucking with Lucci, man. Free my dog, man. For real, man. I'm hurting inside, man. I'm hurting inside about my dog, man. For real, man. Shit fucked up, man. For real, man. Nigga bought some weed from me one day, man. Nigga bought a zip, man. Tip me 50, man. It's a real nigga, man. <laughs> Who you know tipping, man, for real, man. My boy say he a big tipper, no cap, man. I fuck with Lucha. The rest of them rappers, man, I don't know, man. Them folk don't even want to pay the ticket, man. They don't want to pay the play, man. But Lucha, man, he with the shit, man. I fuck with him, man, for real, man. Free Lil Ray Ray, man. God, man. Shit fucked up, man. I hope it ain't true, man. Hope they free my dog soon, man. What's up, hey, man? You so what's some of the music videos he worked on, then? Man, I would've worked on Mariah Carey. What song Nicki do you Minaj. remember? Man, it been so long, but I can't remember all that shit. <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been doing this shit for 15 years. Man, when I got out of college, I went to school for biology pre-dentistry. Ended up not wanting to do that shit. Mom Dukes was in the film field. And let me tell you a story, man. I went to college in 2001, man. My mother went to college in 2001, man. She told me, like, I'm going to college. I'm like, why would you pick, why, why would you go to college when I'm going to college? <laughs> but she got out same time around I did. She chose to go to film school. She went to Art Institute of Atlanta, jumped in the film. She started from the bottom just how I did. pa and goddamn grabbing drinks, being a goddamn do girl. She a director now, man. She, she was a buyer, you know what I mean? She was a buyer for 10 years for film. You know what I mean? My mother's known at every store in Atlanta. She can go anywhere. Her face good because she using movie money. She's spending millions of dollars of somebody else's money and looking real good in the stores <laughs> and make me look good too. She, I go in there and drop a honk on movie money. They think it's for me. <laughs> for real. No cap. For real, I got a store on YouTube about spending 500000 in a day movie money, man. 500000 What all My did you buy? shopping for a movie. What did you buy? Clothes, jewelry. I think it was a Snoop, I think it was a Kevin Hart movie or something. You know what I mean? A big budget movie. Man, they wanted her to go shopping. And she took me and my boy Day Day, man. And um, <laughs> basically, man, I went in Foot Locker and um, Lennox Mall, man, told them folk, give me the whole wall, man. The folk looking at me like, you know, I'm like, for real, I want the whole wall. And then my boy say, shit, I want all the other wall. And them folk, but they ain't know it wasn't for us, you know what I mean? But hey, <laughs> now they knew. <laughs> Well, yeah, man, I put on real good. I know how to put on, you know what I mean? If I would have been on, I, if I would have been on IG or any social media back then when I was, man, bro, come on, man. I'd be so piped. I have pictures with everybody. I'm just a low key nigga, so I ain't take pictures with none of them niggas. They wasn't on, I wasn't on they dick or they nuts. They respected me and I was just, you know, in the art department, you know what I mean? Them folk, them folk, were, man, come on, man. They felt the energy, man. They knew I was somebody even when I ain't know I was somebody, you know what I mean? So, shit, I'm just trying to show everybody that I've been a somebody because I, I'm, locally, I'm the man, no cap. In Lithonia, no cap. Now I can walk with my shirt off if I had jewelry, I had that shit on, you feel me? I can walk anywhere if I had some chains on, but I don't. But if I did, 
I could be got them anywhere with my chains on, in I throw you. Nigga ain't gonna touch me, nigga gonna show me love. And I'm just trying to expand that, you know what I mean? I'm trying to move past Keller Road. I'm trying to move past Keller, man, for real. I want the folk on the west to show me love, the folk on the south, man. The rich folk on the north side to show me love, man. Them Migos on the west and Gwinnett showing nigga love, man, for real. And I knew y'all got it, man. Send me something, man, for real. I'll send you the added, man. You see, all right, we'll talk about that shit later. But shit, what happened to do? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on right now? What else is coming up man, for Man, I you? ain't working on nothing but social media. Okay. I ain't got no job, <laughs> nothing, nigga. I'm at home like this, thank it. How can I goddamn get better with my content on social media? That's it. I'm two months in, but I feel like I'm 10 years in, and they knew it. And I'm not letting up real snowball shit. Shit just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And can't nobody stop this shit. For real. Only God. And he on my side. So what's some advice you give someone who's trying to break into the film in industry? Start at a PA? Is that where they got to start? And that's what you got to start, man, unless you know somebody. Okay. If you know somebody. And that's the thing, man. This shit is so fucked up, man, about Georgia being a right to work state. Georgia being a right to work state, man. Most films, the money comes from California. So with that being said, when the money comes from California, that means the work comes from California. So that means they bring in their own workers. So that means, man, on a film in Atlanta, a crew out of 150 crew, 10 art department, 10 makeup, 10 greens, 10 construction, 10 camera, 10 people in the air department, eight of them motherfuckers gonna be from California. This shit fucked up. You might get two motherfuckers out of every department from Georgia right here. And then they paying for them for hotel rooms every night, paying for them for rentals. And we right here in Georgia got to find a way to goddamn get it. Man, this shit just crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. You got to really know somebody. You got to be plugged in. For real, for real. And if you ain't plugged in, you ain't getting no work. You know, they got A-list, B-list, C-list. Shit, I don't know what list I'm on, but I am on the IMDB. You can check me out. My shit for real. IMDB, for anybody who in film, man, y'all know what's going on, man. It's the Facebook of film, man. My picture on that, man. Ain't no capping my shit, man. Y'all look me up. Oh, my work. Plenty of it. <laughs> How long did you have to work for a PA before you got uh, promoted to a different role? Ooh, oh, I was a dude boy for a long time. I was a dude boy <laughs> on commercials. I, I did, like... Tamara Braxton, I can't remember all them commercial kids. Come on, I, I was a dude boy for a long time, bro, grabbing drinks. And then they so, man, it's like you ain't even there, bro. It's like, it's like in the world, in a regular world, you're the homeless person. You get what I'm saying? Like, like you look how a person look on a homeless person and be like, damn, that's how they do you in film when you a PA, bro. It's like, I'm thirsty. Uh, sit, get water. You like. They, Water, you like, oh shit, where to get a water? And then, like I said, man, you gotta tell a motherfucker who making five thousand dollars an hour to be quiet. And they know you making a hundred dollars that day. You making a hundred dollars that day. They pit listen, man, them folk got so much money, man, in movie, man. This is real shit. I'm on a set, quarantine two. That was the first film, the first major movie that I did. Man, rest in peace, Bob Lucas, man. He gave me my chance, man. Everybody know Bob Lucas got the prop, the big prop house, that the only prop house in, in Georgia, really in the South, that, that every film come fuck with, Bob Lucas, he gave me my first opportunity, man, for real, in like 2009, man. I fuck with Bob, man. I just, man, for real. But he, a, Bob gave me a chance on, um, on, on Quarantine 2. I was a set dresser, and um, man, I don't I forgot the story, not talking about Bob, man, my fault, man. That shit fucked me up, man. Home's a real dude, man. White dude from California, man, gave me a chance. A black man, I ain't, I ain't never worked in film or nothing. He gave me a chance, man, and I fucked with Bob, man. I'm gonna see you one day, too. But go ahead, Hayes, I forgot what I was gonna say about Quarantine, too. It's just the first movie I ever worked on. Okay. All right. Any uh, last words? Any, anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? Man, listen, man. I'm shooting skits now. I'm going to come out with a series, man. I'm going to shoot a real goddamn, a real thriller. 
You know what I mean? All my shit ain't, cause my, I don't think I'm funny at all. Don't call me no comedian, cause all my shit for real. I ain't never joke. I ain't never told a joke ever in my life. For real, I ain't never told a joke. All my shit been a honor. Man, for the haters keep hating. For the ones who love me, man, keep showing love. <clears throat> I just want to say I love everybody, but again, man, from Bruce Street, cross over the railroad track, Evan Mill, nigga right on Hillendale, Panola, Salem, Marble, Eastside, you know I got you, for real. All my shit are hung. And nigga, man, can I get my peoples on here, man? Can I show my folk? Man, y'all come up here, man. Come fuck with the porch real quick. Come up here, man. It's the end. It's the end. Y'all come up here. Get this shit, man. I'm gonna show y'all my family, man, for real. This is for real. No cap, man. Everybody you see, man, I love them, man. I die for them, man. Kill for them. Everybody. Come on, Vaughn, man. Come fuck with me, man. For real. <laughs> we on the porch with this shit. Yeah, they all either gotta sit down or squat down to be in the camera. Here, let me come down, so. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Vaughn. No, come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, Kai, baby. Oh, come here. The camera ain't even me, bro, like that. Uh-uh. Can't, 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 can't. Brandon, can you see my boy, too? Is he in there? Come on, Vaughn, no. you got to get up some. Man, I don't want to get camera, man. Come on, man. Are we in there now? Yeah. We in there? It won't be the last two. They got to squat down. Come on. OK. Come on, something else, man. No, it's not no. Going. It's a picture. It's a picture. Uh, like oh. Interview, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You gotta do some playing shit. Okay. Hey. All right. Hey. All right. Pooh Sicey, that's my dog. But Pooh, you know I'm really Sicey. For real. I'm gonna keep this shit a hundred. I'm telling real stories. Yeah.